What up, what up, YouTube? This is your motherfucker saying crazy. So, right before this video starts, this is a very important video, by the way. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd address this at the beginning of this video. If you are here not to support my videos, and you're not here to support my music, or, you know, you're just here to fucking stalk my profiles, and, you know, troll me, basically, then I suggest you fucking unfollow me right now. I don't give a fuck who the fuck you are, because... Dude, I left social media for about not even not even a day. And hella motherfuckers started, you know, harassing me, you know, saying I should kill myself because I'm white and fucking bunch of bullshit like that. So if you're here to fucking harass, bully, and fucking all this other shit, then get the fuck off my channel. Because you don't you don't you don't belong here. I'm trying to spread a fucking positive message with my music and I'm trying to do all this other shit and you're just here to hinder that. By, by, you know, bullying and harassing me and all this other shit. So, yeah, I mean, you know, the comments don't really affect me. But it does affect other people when, you know, because everybody else has their own fucking problems to deal with. But, you know, um, I'm not trying to promote that energy here. So, yeah, if you, if you fucking comment that shit on my videos from here on out, you're going to get fucking, they're going to get fucking deleted. And you're going to get fucking blocked. Simple as that. So, yeah, take that, take that however you want to take it as. But yeah, anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll be right back. What up, what up, YouTube? This is your motherfucking saying crazy break back another video. Now, this video is kind of serious. Now, before I get into the meat and potatoes of this video, um, I just want to pull this up real quick and just let y'all know what's been going on. If you guys are unaware of what happened, um, from what, from what I've read and from what I've, you know, heard from, you know, people and everything, um, I guess there was a something happened in Texas fucking uh, some fucking maniac with a fucking rifle did some shit fucking you know went to an elementary school and did a bunch of fucking gruesome ass shit you know like it's pure fucking evil like if this is if this ain't evil then I don't know what evil is like dude this deranged fucking person went into a fucking elementary school an elementary fucking school what kind of a dumb fucking idiot can you be? Like, dude, you're taking out your fucking personal, whatever personal conflicts you had with inside of you. You're taking the shit out on fucking children. You're taking the shit out on fucking children, man. That's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. You deprived these fucking lives of lives they could have fucking had. Now they're not going to live, you know, to be past fucking 50 years old because of some fucking bullshit that you pulled on them. But yeah, apparently the shooter did die, so, um, you know, but yeah, that's how karma is, you know, karma's a bitch, you know, you do want, you do, you do this fucking evil shit, evil shit comes right back on you, like, that's how karma is, but, yeah, it's a fucking tragedy, I was, I was a little bit fucking, you know, I, I was thinking about doing a video like this, where I just kind of, you know, told y'all my uncensored thoughts about it, and that's kind of what I'm gonna do on here. But before I get into my uncensored thoughts on it and everything, um, I just want to let everybody know that hasn't really been caught up to speed yet on what's going on. Um, cause, you know, I want y'all to get the context of where I'm coming from on this shit. Cause not a lot of people are gonna know if I don't, you know, uh, use this as, you know, to back up what's going on. So, yeah, let's get, let's get into this video real quick, and then I'm gonna get right into, you know, my thoughts on it. So, yeah, then I'll, then I'll end the video from there, and we can go on our way, I guess, you know. <laughs> That's the plan so far. Let's get it. Tonight, as the nation grieves, we need to focus on the healing and hope. And remembers the 21 lives lost inside a Texas elementary school. Right now, we need to put our arms around the families of these victims. People are pushing for change. It was totally predictable, and I predict this will continue to happen. And pointing fingers as to how another senseless tragedy has happened yet again. People are rightfully angry. 10TV looks at what's happening in our own state and neighborhoods and how you can give back in a time when we're all hurting. And thank you for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Andrew Kinsey. And I'm Yolanda Harris. New details on the tragic school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, keep coming in every minute. But what we don't know tonight is why. Yeah, why did this happen? A big question there. Andy. All right, all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and pause the video right here because I'm pretty sure this video kind of brought you all up to speed on what's going on. So, yeah. 
fucking somebody um from what from what I've read and what I've heard and this is you know based on watching clips like this and you know just reading articles online and everything um somebody th this fucking deranged person that went and did the shit was 18 years old 18 years old literally 2 years younger than me he did this shit cuz he's a fucking deranged psychopath like dude he fucking so here's what I read. So I get I'm guessing this 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 is what this is from what I've read and what I've seen. Um, you know, like I said, I've I read news articles all the time, you know, because that's what I do in my spare time, you know. <laughs> but I'm not doing anything else. I just I just read articles because you know, um, yeah, I just like to find interesting stories to follow, you know. But yeah, fucking, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, this psychotic motherfucker shot his fucking grandma. His fucking grandma. And, and and crashed his fucking car. Got out with the fucking... Uh, I think they said it was like a rifle or some shit. I don't know. It, it, could, it, could, it was either a rifle or a pistol. I don't remember. But it's one It's one or the other. Um, Yeah. Fucking went in there. Killed about 19 fucking children. And two teachers. What kind of a fucking, what kind of a sick bastard could you be to do that shit? Like, seriously. Like, dude. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And this is not the first, this is not the first time that's, that this happened. We've had, you know, we've had multiple things like this fucking happening. With the same exact fucking, the same age range, the same fucking, all this shit, you know? And, yeah. I can tell you right now, that whenever these fucking tragedies happen... These fucking politicians that you you all saw these politicians up here, right? Um, not these people because these are the news people. Um, but yeah, the politicians what they do is they take these fucking stories like this, these tragedies and shit, and they use it for a political gain. And it's disgusting as fuck, and it's evil as fuck, and they should be ashamed of themselves, you know? Because, dude, nineteen fucking children got killed. And yet, you're worried about your fucking political career tanking after this. You should be worried. You should be worried. Because you're the motherfuckers that are letting these fucking criminals out on the fucking streets and doing this shit. You are allowing this fucking behavior. You're not condemning this shit. You are allowing this fucking shit to happen in our fucking streets and our neighborhoods and all this shit. So yeah, you sh we should be uh, holding these fucking politicians accountable for their actions too. Because they're partly... You know, they're partly responsible for this shit, too. Like, straight up. Like, they're they're doing this shit on fucking purpose. Because they're trying to... T Dude. They're going to use this shit and try to take away the fucking guns. That's what they're trying to do. They're going to take tragedies like this and try to take our fucking guns away. And, you know... And I get that, you know, there's strange fucking people out there, you know. But taking away the guns from the, from the public and everything... That's not really going to help us out because, you know, th those same guns, they can sell that shit on the fucking black market, you know, they can do all this other shit. Like, dude, it's not going to fucking stop all this fucking crime. It's only going to make it worse. Like, you disarm, you disarm Americans, they're going to get fucking killed. Like, straight up. We've seen that happen in multiple other countries where they did that, you know. And it's going to happen in America if we don't fucking stop them, you know. We don't, we gotta stop them from letting these fucking criminals get out on fucking bail and do all this fucking bullshit, you know, because that's what they're doing. This, this person that did this shit had previous fucking criminal records and shit, and yet they fucking let him out anyway. Like, dude, the system's fucked up. Like, they're letting these fucking people roam fucking free, and then this shit happens. And then they're like, oh, it can't be this. It has to be the fucking guns. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to say this once. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say this one time, actually, on this video. It's not the gun that kills the people. It's the people behind it that kill the people. The person that's holding that gun that kills the people. Not the gun itself. You know? Because you got fucking hunters out here. You know? They, they go and hunt for deer, you know? And all this other shit. Like, dude. It's not the gun that kills people. It's the people that's killing people out here. So if you want to stop fucking crime, put these people in fucking jail in prison where they belong. Not on the streets, not roaming around free, doing whatever the fuck they want to do. 
They belong in fucking jail or prison. If you break the fucking law, you go to jail or fucking prison. That's 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 how this shit should be. But yet, fucking common sense has gone out the fucking window. And then this shit happens. It's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. But yeah, that's just my two cents on it. Um, I hope everybody learned something from this video. But yeah, it's fucking... It's a, it's a tragedy. 19, 19 young lives lost. Fucking... Yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, like I said, these politicians are going to use this shit for their political gain. Watch. Watch Kamala Harris come out and, and start talking about this shit. Watch fucking Nancy Pelosi come out and talk about this shit. Watch all these other fucking people talk, come out and talk about this shit and, and try to blame the fucking gun on this shit. No, it's the fucking person behind the gun that killed the people. Not the gun itself. Straight up. But yeah, I'm outie. I, I've said what I had to say. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. This is your motherfucker's in Cray signing out. And I'll see y'all later.